trying to be in my position Keep my shades on cause they're trying to see the vision Tell me bad man, see I need your love See I need your love Hi guys, I'm Mohamed Dagger. I've just finished A levels and as you can see, I'm very scared waiting for it results day. So um, I've applied to dentistry this year. I managed to get three offers from King's College London, Queen Mary's London and Plymouth. And so if anyone has any questions about applying to dentistry, let me know. My Instagram is modagger1999. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to talk about UK cats, about quantitative reasoning. So just before I start, I want to give a shout out to my academia. They do courses in Glasgow, Sheffield, Newcastle and Liverpool and I know Rehan he will be a speaker there and for me like I've, I've followed Rehan's tips through watching his YouTube videos and I think it's definitely a course um, which I should recommend. So I'm here to just share my UK cat tips on quantitative reasoning because a lot of people they find it difficult and um, I got 830 in my quantitative reasoning which which is quite good but considering the average is high which is about 700, 690 a lot of people in through practice they don't really get that. But what they don't understand is in the real exam it's much easier. And you'll understand on test day, you'll finish the exam and you'll know what I mean by when I say it's much easier. So I'm just gonna talk through on what I did for my UK CAT preparation. So I gave myself about five, maybe six weeks of UK CAT revision. Obviously quite chilled. I wanted to enjoy my summer. So I did a couple hours a day but I split over the five sections. And I started off with the ISC medical book. And what I found is, them quantitative reasoning questions, they were very hard. And, and so I tried uh, Medify. Medify is an online course, I think it costs about a month for 40 pounds. And that was really good. I think that was the most similar UK card questions to the actual UK card exam. So that was really good. And so let me talk about the quantitative reasoning. It's 24 minutes. 36 questions, it must speak for itself. You don't have much time at all, so you need to find a strategy that works best for you. And a lot of people, really strategy doesn't come until you practice and find the best strategy for you. So for me, through practice, and I didn't get the strategy until a few days before, but um, my, I think the best strategy which I got, which really did help me get 800 plus, and I gave the advice to a few others and they managed to get 800 plus as well. The best strategy is, you're given 36 questions, about six of them are difficult and 30 are simple and you're all given the same mark for each question you do so whether you answer a really hard question or a really easy question you get the same amount of points so my strategy was I'm going to do 30 questions out of 30 questions and the six remaining I'm going to guess them so I focus on trying to get 30 out of 30 correct and the six remaining in the exam I literally flagged and skipped flagged and skipped and then towards the end when I had enough time to do all 30 I knew myself, I said, okay, them 30 I did, I think I got them right. So let me, if I had time, I tried doing them. If I didn't, I just guess them, which is calm, because you only need about 30 anyway to get 800 plus. So if you're confident you got them 30 right, which you will do through practice, and because 30 are more simpler, that was quite good. So as I said, I started off with ISC Medical. Them questions are really hard. So I'd recommend starting off with Medify for a month. And them questions, I think, were most similar to the real exam. I spent a week on the UK CAT website and then they, they were really much more difficult than the actual um, than the actual UK CAT exam and a lot that puts a lot of stress on people as well. Yeah so I think Medify definitely they definitely have sponsored me to say this they're not paying me anything but Medify definitely they the, the layout of the online computer system was very good most similar to the real exam. The practice UK CAT website they were much more difficult but I think the good thing about doing the difficult questions, that and I see medical group, I think, you know, the six questions I was talking about on skipping them, them are the questions which you could prepare for, which if you're aiming for 890, 900, them are the questions you could definitely try. But in terms of getting them 30 questions out of 36, um, Medify is the way to go. So I think Medify definitely, spend a month on that. Uh, you practice UK CAT website a week and I see medical book. For a week as well. I think good thing about doing Medify as well is because it's online, you get used to using um, the you know the numbers and everything. And another tip actually for quantitative reasoning, you on the keyboard, practice using the keys on the right. You know you get numbers on the top, the letters on the keypad on the right. Practice using them because in the exam it's much quicker to type the numbers. 
Also, you can press Alt N to go to the next question. Alt F to flag. Instead of using the mouse, and that's just waste precious seconds. When you're doing the UK CAT quantitative reasoning, obviously time is essential, and every second counts, literally. Yeah, so, as I said, make sure you keep in your head that the real exam will be easier, and it will be. Um, as long as you have that in your mind, you will be calm, because it will be easier. And just remember, you are guaranteed to have hard questions, everyone will. And then what the questions, um, from your strategy or perhaps using my strategy, then what the questions which you'll skip and leave to the end. But most likely you will have 30 questions, around 30 questions, that will be more of the simpler ones which you can do. And don't forget, you don't need full marks to get 900. As long as you, let's say you get 28, 29, 30, that, that could get you 800. And if obviously if you practice with the other six, if you get some right, if you're looking on the day, um, that could boost you much higher up as well. Good luck guys, take the UK cut seriously. I mean, a lot of people, they just win the UK cut. And to be fair, some people actually do do quite well, but definitely take it seriously. It's one to revise for. And I think quantitative reasoning is one of the more simpler ones. You may not believe me while you're doing the actual questions and practice, but trust me, in the real thing, that's why the average is so high, 690, 700, because everyone does well. And if you're struggling with verbal, abstract, or any other of the sections, quantitative is one way you could boost your UK CAT score really high. And it's one way you could definitely prepare for. Verbal reasoning will be different each time, but quantitative reasoning is definitely one way you could practice for and do good in the real thing. And good luck everyone. And as I said before, let me know if you've got any questions.